The process of finding an apartment was so stressful for me. I am a person that gets my hopes up about this kind of stuff and then getting denied was like really heart-wrenching for me and it happened several times. Hi, welcome to my apartment in Portland, Oregon. My name is Annika Hines, I'm 22, and I live in Portland, Oregon in a one-bedroom apartment. I live with my boyfriend and we pay $1,400 in rent a month. I'm a full-time student and a TikTok creator, and I also work for a small business here in Portland. My boyfriend and I split the rent down the middle and any other fees at the apartment. My apartment provides parking, which is so helpful here in Portland, so I'm really thankful to have a parking spot included, as well as trash and utilities are all included in my rent. Even though I prioritize decor, I am very thrifty with my decor. So most of my decor is either from thrift stores or found on the side of the street. I really wanted my space to feel very fun and youthful. And as a kid, I always dreamt of having like a hammock and hanging chairs and stuff in my place when I got older. And I always kind of wondered why adults didn't. I'm really lucky that my boyfriend doesn't really care about decoration. All he brought to the table here was like a TV and his computer and I got to kind of run wild with the decor. I tried to paint our kitchen a baby pink once and he said, can we do another color? And so it's still white right now, we're in that debate. I think this rent for this apartment and the amount of space that we have is a great deal for Portland, especially in this location. I found the apartment hunt very difficult here in Portland. I was looking at pretty much every day on Craigslist, rent.com, apartment.com, a bunch of different online sites. It is incredibly hard to find a place with good specifications if you don't have previous renter experience or if you don't have a good credit score. I applied to like three apartments before this one and we were declined because of the credit score of my partner, even though we both made the right income and we both had previous renter experience. So once we found this place, I was really adamant to like make sure we got it. I ended up having to apply to this place on my own and um, use a cosigner, which was my grandma. The reason I had a cosigner is because I do not make four times this rent and it's very rare to find anybody who does and is living in a one bedroom apartment in Portland. Like they'd be living in a, probably a bigger place. So the only way I was able to get this place was with the help of my family. So the upfront cost of moving into this place was first and last, which was $13.60 each, and then I paid $50 key fee, and that was the initial amount I put forward of $2,770. It was a lot to put up front initially, especially because I'm a college student, I'm paying for school out of pocket and with a few financial aid helps from scholarships but I was lucky enough to have a little bit of a savings put away from high school as I worked full time throughout high school. So I had a savings put away specifically for this reason of finding a place that I really was settled and loved. I love Southeast, it's where I work and it's kind of a more urban area of Portland, lots of food carts and lots of shopping and it was where I wanted you know, to settle in Portland. This apartment is 700 square feet in total. I feel like this apartment size is perfect for us now. We do have two cats, so we're starting to outgrow it, I think, with them. But I think a one bedroom in Portland at this size is perfect for two people. The one downside to the apartment that I live in is that we don't have laundry or a dishwasher, so I have to drive to the laundry mat every week to do my laundry. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the space. Here is the entrance to my apartment. It has this kind of awkward little hallway that I decided to add this mural to. And to my left is my bedroom. <laughs> my bedroom is quite small for two people, especially closet space is a struggle. So I have this hanging clothing rack that I kind of improvised from a shelf that I found. Here is my living room. This is like my favorite spot in my apartment. It feels very bright and open. 
This couch I found on Craigslist for 200 bucks. I was looking for something very specific with my couch, so I was refreshing it every day looking for a gray couch that was like this size. And one day it just popped up and it's been perfect for us ever since. I think it's due for an update though. I'd like to get a new couch soon. And this mirror I found in the dressing room of a place going out of business and I got it for free because they were just closing and were getting rid of their stuff. So that was a score, especially since floor length mirrors are very expensive. And then right here I have two crates hanging on my wall. This one's empty right now, but usually my cat Figgy is sitting in it, watching over the whole apartment. It's kind of her throne. And then I also have it displaying some books and some other plants and decor. Both my boyfriend and I uh, skate and snowboard, so I really wanted to make use of space and display our um, equipment. So I hung our snowboard up here above our TV and then also our skateboards here so that we can take them down and use them whenever we want. And right here I have my hammock. This is my favorite spot in my apartment. I have this seating area where I put all my plants and then a bunch of windows where I can look out on the city. And so I put my hammock here so I can drink coffee in the morning and kind of stare out the window. And then right here I have my hanging chair, which used to be um, very bright and colorful. I got it at a thrift store, but I decided to tone it down with one solid color. Um, this is fabric I got at a thrift store and I covered it myself and it's perfect. So right here I have a uh, table that I made from uh, a thing I found on the side of the road and then I tiled it myself. And this is where I do a lot of my work. And then we also have this desk behind me. And this is where my boyfriend spends most of his time playing video games and doing his work. And this is where I have my favorite mural in my house and one of the first projects that I did when I moved into this apartment. And here is my kitchen. It's a little boring at the moment. I would like to add a little bit more color to it eventually, but for now it's functional and it's perfect for me. I plan on living this place kind of until I outgrow it. I mean, for me right now, especially as a college student and juggling kind of work and school and my TikTok, it's like the perfect place for me. And I think at some point I will outgrow it and that's when I will take the leap to maybe a bigger space or a different location. I would love to buy a home. It's actually my dream, considering I love DIY projects and decorating. I'd love to be able to knock down walls and do whatever I want to, to the place that I live, which I can't really do when I'm renting. I think it's really important when you find a space that you love that you make it your own. And so that's what I've done. Like my personality is in my place and that is what makes my apartment so perfect for me. And I think that's what everyone should do with their space is make it a place that they feel comfortable and they feel themselves and it's a reflection of them. And so that's what I try and do with my decoration.